This morning, more than 100 people are accused in a massive financial scam against the government. Prosecutors say the suspects include first responders. They're accused of swindling hundreds of millions of dollars in disability insurance. The alleged fraud grew dramatically after the September 11th attacks. Jeff Glory is with us. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. Most of the 100 plus being charged are former members of the NYPD, some ex firefighters. Prosecutors say all of them were enabled by four ringleaders, all of whom served the government before ripping it off. Joseph Esposito and John Minerva are former officers. Raymond Lavallee is a former FBI agent. Thomas Hale, a pension consultant and World War II veteran. The men are accused of scheming with and coaching more than 100 former workers, including 72 former members of the NYPD. New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton. As a New Yorker, as a U.S. citizen, I can only express disgust at the actions of the individuals involved uh, in this scheme. Among those charged, Luis Hurtado, who prosecutors say was starring in instructional videos as a six-degree black belt, all while telling the New York Police Department he was disabled with neck injuries and psychological problems. He's accused of taking $470,000 over 24 years. Prosecutors say the total built from Social Security disability insurance could reach $400 million. More than half the cases came from those claiming the events of 9-11 left them unfit to work. Attorney Brian Griffin is representing Esposito. He says his client honorably served the NYPD. So this is a difficult time for him personally. But again, he stood up, he stood against it, and he said the two words that are most important to take away, which is not guilty. Prosecutors say that all were coached on how to act when examined by doctors, how to fail memory tests, how to dress, and how to apply for benefits. Some cases going back to 1988. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. Any concern or disappointment that it took this long to uncover? I would urge federal legislators to look at the amount of funds and, and resources that are devoted to investigate disability fraud on an ongoing basis. I think it is fair to say that uh, they desperately need more resources. Keep in mind, even though this apparently stretches back to the 80s, it was only noticed in the past few years. All four of the alleged ringleaders pled not guilty yesterday. Prosecutors say the investigation is far from over, though, and they expect to find many more cases, Nora and Charlie. And the total amount they think of fraud? It could reach, they say, $400 million, which does seem like a staggering figure, right? Incredible. Jeff, yeah. thank you.